Alright. Welcome to They Are Here. This is going to be my last installment of exploring Steam's next fest. Um, this is a little alien horror game. A little, another little demo that I know nothing about. So, um... It's very loud, as they all are. So make sure you grab your headphones, strap them on tight, turn them up nice and loud so you're hearing what I'm hearing. Make the room nice and dark, grab your drinks, put it in a sippy, kick back. We about to get it. Oh, that's so loud. I explained phenomenon that occurred in Graveswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved the breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange... Oh, the music just stopped. <laughs> uh, this strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood Farm, Greyswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Well, I guess that's me. I guess I'm Taylor Fox. It's cool. I don't, I don't see many games about, like, alien and... Uh, aliens coming to Earth. So I'm interested about this. Is that a Oh, that's us. Talk to Farmer Pete Sherman. One news. No, I imagine that's the music. Oh, well, this game looks quite nice until you look far away. And then the textures either don't let in or it's just very blurry. Oh. Click. All right. This is great material for the news report. Hot dog. We have a wiener. Sherman's farm. Or his house. Free poop. Yeah, I can see how this is going to be creepy. <laughs> Cornfields with no vision through them. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Yep. Someone walking behind me too. That's good. And I can't run. Excellent. Alright. What have we got here? Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we had an appointment but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Right. Hello? Who leaves the phone off the hook? Not working. Put it on the hook so it's not beeping, for fuck's sake. Old newspaper. Old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Expired milk? Empty pizza? Cuke? Alright. I guess we're going upstairs. Oh, that ladder was going to lead to something. He runs up the stairs quite fast. Am I going to like search everything in this game? Or is this just like a uh, follow the bouncing ball don't need to touch everything kind of thing. That, light's got a, that door's got a blue light under it so I'm going to go there last. Oh. Looks like they all have blue lights. It's just the moon. Okay, I don't want to grab that yet because I feel like it's going to trigger something. So let's check here first. Both rooms look equally as interesting and I don't know where to go first. Let's go to this room. Printed photo. Right. <laughs> that good kush. That's a bit creepy. Just photos from the internet, eh? 
Oh god, here we go. Farmer's Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Oh, right, I see. <laughs> now I'm looking at the picture. Um, today was the most exciting and scary day of my life. I saw aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from the abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights, all windows, was hovering. Uh, I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table, as if I were welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to be it seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. How can how can you what? How does that seem like that? What does that look like? Um, when one of them came over and did something, oh, then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier late later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body with two small, very small, smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Nice little doodles they've done there. Fantastic. Quite a good drawer when you're, how old? 15? Whatever it was. When I was 15, I was a terrible drawer. Still am. Another note. Farmer's note. Oh my god, so many big notes. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. They are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, grey skin, long, thin limbs, and sharp claws. The voice is like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have nosebleed have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears and animals start raging. Next people start to have memory lapses, periods where they don't remember anything. When they come back to normal they find themselves in unexpected places, for example in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds and this has an effect on their psyche. Also, they found the marks on their body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, palpitation rather, it felt like something thick, like a front object moving under their skin. Gross. Is that another video from the internet? Who closed that door? I didn't. I was like, why is that door open? But no, that was me. My bad. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh. Row, row. Killed the dog. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The leaf is painted on both sides. Oh boy. Another farmer's night. This is my daughter's room. During the night I heard a strange noise. When I came in she wasn't in her bed and then the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Probably. Oh. Oh shit! Got the walkie talkie. No, I can't. Oh fuck! Holy shit, that was loud. Oh fuck. Yeah, this is. Um, let me look at this again. Apparently, it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yep, okay, that's gross. Holy shit, okay, this is creepy as fuck. What? Oh my god, this is scary. Oh fuck. This is no fucking game. Alright, let's go downstairs, I guess. Oh, I hate this. Oh, that door's open now.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Just chill. Nothing's actually happened yet. Just chill. Turn the TV off. I can't. Oh wait, yes I can. Oh no, I put a tape in. Why don't I turn my flashlight off? Someone wants me to watch the movie. What the fuck is this? You can zoom in. Should I sit down and get comfortable? What is this picture quality? I mean, I know it's VHS, but. Is that alien beatboxing? Is that dubstep beatbox? How long should I watch this for? Oh fuck! Okay. Good, I'm glad it's the fucking loudest thing ever. Fantastic. Oh yeah, let's get nice and drunk. So we can deal with this. Can I close that? Oh thank god. Farmer's note. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. And recently, strange, unpleasant tingling sensations in the back of my head have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction, of course. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. Oh, so it was his old diary. I thought it was his kids. Uh, it was then that the migraines began. The cut side notice and behind my ear were traces were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh boy. A little jar of the strange device. It's stuck to the bottom apparently. In the note, Peter claims he had cut out that implant from behind his ear. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm following it. Yep, good. Why wouldn't I follow it? Oh boy. Oh, there's more stars. Oh shit. Oh shit! I have to get back to my car and I have to walk through these fucking fields and I can't sprint! Oh shit. OH SHIT! Holy shit! I just like knocked everything off my desk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy mother of fucking god, get in the car. Let's get the fuck out of here, baby. Yeah, we are done. Start the engine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, of course. It's I just knocked everything off my fucking desk because of that fucking jump scare. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh boy. Do I have a gun? Is this game American? Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Fuck me! Oh. Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> uh, fuck! Fuck! 
That was just full of jump scares. Oh. Holy shit. That's what a demo should be, I feel like. It's like a real quick, hard and fast, scare the shit out of you, show you little about the game. I like that. I really like that. Um, yeah, you better believe I'm putting that on my wish list because I'm definitely going to play that when it came out. That was cool. That was jump scares fucking central. Um, awesome. Yeah, that was... Uh, there they... Oh, there are They are here, I think it was. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so startled. Um... Yeah, hope you enjoyed the Steam's 2021 Next Fest. Uh, that'll be the last demo I play, so back to usual after this. Thanks for watching.